the Flinders Health and Medical Research Building will allow us to integrate and collaborate much more effectively and efficiently with colleagues of similar mind. My principal research involves the gastrointestinal tract and how the gut and brain communicate and we're very interested in how pathways between the organs in the abdomen and brain connect and how those pathways are important in, in health and well-being. The current NHMRC and ARC funding that we have will be carried over till 2023. This active period involves a number of dynamic researchers and it will be carried well and truly over into the new building. The nice aspect of the new building is that this will galvanise and unify many research groups into one cohesive institute. My role in the committee in uh, forming the Flinders Health and Medical Research Building was really to uh, provide an input onto what electrophysiological scientists required, cutting edge technologies, future proofing the building, not just for the next six months, for, but for decades from now. And that involves looking at the latest technologies and ensuring that we will be purpose built for the next generations. And that's a key impetus for our trajectory, is to train next generation scientists, up and coming scientists that are gonna be leading uh, this institution into the future.